Okay, we are live. Uh, welcome to Tipsy Realtor Season 2. And you can see it's just me today. It's a one woman show. Uh, Robin is still away and enjoying sunny Costa Rica. But the show must go on, as they say. So I will make a cocktail first. And we are continuing uh, our January theme topics. Uh, forecast the future trends for 2022 and as we mentioned earlier one of the things for the cocktails that is coming back for this year is a classic cocktail so we make another classic cocktail called the sidecar um, it was originated around World War One er area uh, er um, I mean era and they're not sure if it was like made in Paris or London uh, but it's very simple cocktail. It's good enough to make uh, with one person and no assistant needed. So let's start. So we're gonna have an ice shaker with ice in it. And I was already chewing my martini glass. So you can have a cook glass or martini glass for this particular cocktail. So I chose the martini glass, it's been chilling. And I'm just gonna throw my ice away here. And you can see for garnish, I will be using a piece of orange. So, in our ice shaker, we have our lemon juice, freshly squeezed lemon juice, three ounces. Next, we're gonna add two ounces of brandy or cognac, whatever you choose to use. So here you go, that goes my brandy. And then you can use, I'm using Contro today, but you're welcome to use a Grand Marnier. Grand Marnier will give that nice orange liqueur flavor but it's gonna be a little bit sweeter. So I'm gonna use Contro, and it's an ounce of Contro, actually three quarters. So you collect everything into an ice shaker, close the ice shaker, and shake it vigorously. So shake it away. And for one for the good luck. So we got it done. I like how this just opens nice and easy. And I'm just taking my cocktail glass and pour it in. And look at that. So it makes a nice full martini glass. Um, some of the recipes actually talk about sugaring the rim. Uh, you're welcome to do that as well. It's gonna look much prettier. I don't actually love the sugar rim so much. Uh, well, depending on the cocktail, but I do enjoy my rooms to be clean. So I read one of the interesting things about it. It says, when do you enjoy this cocktail? Sometimes cocktails are good uh, before dinner, after dinner, on the patio. Well, this one particular said, enjoy it anytime. So cheers to our Wednesday cocktail lunch. It's a boozy cocktail, really refreshing because of the lemon juice, and I did use Contro, so it's on the drier side and on the sweeter side. Mm. But I can see why you can enjoy it anytime. It actually really goes well before or after dinner, or just cocktail hour like today. So, now that we made our cocktail, let's talk about Forecast. So yesterday we had our Calgary Real Estate Board forecast for 2022 and that's where a whole bunch of realtors get together and we listen to some amazing speakers and our economy chief for Calgary Real Estate, from our Calgary Real Estate Board. And we're looking at the numbers, we're looking what happened in 2021, what's going to happen in 2022 and where are we going, what's our expectations for the year. So. It's not a big secret now that 2021 broke all the records. Uh, we had an amazing year here in Alberta, cross country, and finally in Calgary. And it was good to see because, uh, you know, it's been six years since we've seen a really good market. We've had six years of economic downturn where the prices for the homes and well, for all real estate has been falling. 
So what are we doing right now? We're catching up. We're catching up with the prices that we should be, the value of the homes in Calgary, in a very rapid way. And of course, um, it's a very different factors why that's happening. You know, low interest rates is one of the factors. Um, you know, the pandemic uh, that nobody actually foresee that's happening cause as well this rapid change because people were stuck in the homes possibly that was good for now but not forever and more they were spending time there it felt that they needed to change and also a lot of people haven't been spending their money they haven't been spending money on vacations and luxury goods and such um, so that's why a lot of people have they save the money to buy either their first property or upgrade. So we see a lot of movement. Another thing, in terms of how many people, like you know, it felt like everybody was leaving Alberta because of the economy. But the good note that even though we lost Albertans to some of the uh, provinces, we gained some of them back from other provinces. So it's not as many as we like. Uh, apparently, city of Calgary doesn't do the census anymore for population, so we don't know how many we gained. But historically, Calgary gained more people than Alberta. So majority of people who um, came to Alberta came to Calgary. So that's so we are seeing people coming to Alberta, uh, listening to Premier Kenny and. Uh, our city of Calgary mayor, they all very hopeful for Calgary for 2022. And uh, there are gonna be a lot of job creations and some of them sound very exciting. We don't, uh, they haven't disclosed what they were yet, but we'll see um, what that's gonna be looking like in the later of the year. In terms of if some people say, oh, this Calgary is becoming very expensive. Well, even though Calgary has seen over 10% uh, price surge per for the detached homes. Let's talk about detached homes mostly. Um, we are still under five hundred thousand for um, benchmark price. So for the home, where for example in places like Vancouver, I have my computer here open, so I don't screw up the stats. So for Vancouver, where this Greater Vancouver area, they're seeing over eighty percent price surge. And their benchmark for a single family home is $1.7 million. So when you look under 500 or 1.7 million, we look like a good deal. Same goes for Toronto. You know, we heard that um, Toronto was experiencing a huge boom. So 23% detached home price increase in Toronto, which makes the benchmark for 2021 for detached home is 1.2, actually over 1.2. So again, Calgary is one of the bigger cities here in Canada. We're becoming more and more attractive to people to move here because they can afford a nice place here, great lifestyle, we have close mountains, lots of parks around, so it's great outdoors, and um, jobs are coming. So there are lots of industries. Uh, I believe basically besides education and healthcare, all the industries will see growth in 2022, which is amazing. As a Calgary try, uh, and Alberta in general trying to diversify from just oil and gas, we are going to be seeing some growth in industries and diversification. And that's where the money is going to come from. So I also wanted to talk about, um, I mean, all Alberta experienced the growth. Calgary experienced probably the most growth. Um, and next was Edmonton and Red Deer as well. So actually Red Deer big Calgary by just 0.2%. Um, but entire Alberta has so uh, growth in, um, in prices. Also, what are we looking at? We are looking, uh, if you're thinking of the areas such as Okotoks, Chestermere, Eridry, uh, Cochrane, they all seen a price growth as well. You guys know I live in Chestermere. So Chestermere um, benchmark price went 12%. So it's actually went more than Calgary. And we're talking about detached homes again. Okotoks, um, so I believe 10%, energy was around 13% price growth. So amazing things were happening for 2021. So what are we doing for 2022? This will continue, not 
as much. So we're not gonna see those huge price growth. They're predicting about 4%. However, we all know that January was insane months. It has been insane month, hasn't done yet. Uh, where in some areas of Calgary, we do see prices jumping 10% and more already on detached homes. Kind of cool factor, which was interesting for me to see yesterday at the conference, that Northwest Calgary grew the most in price in comparison of suburbia area. And um, actually downtown core seen less growth. And it just maybe because people are looking for bigger homes, uh, bigger lots, and um, no need to live close to downtown. So that was really interesting. And of course, we are populated mostly with condos in um, downtown area. Condos have not seen the rebound uh, as a detached homes, but they are moving more towards the balanced market, which is also really good. For the, those who weren't able to afford them, maybe the detached home or semi-detached homes that are rising really fast in price, the townhomes and maybe a large condominium apartment style will be a great choice for you. And of course, we talked about the rates, what to expect from mortgages. We have, uh, Robin and I have spoke before that we do expect rates to go up. Um, and we'll see, I think, so to, I'm not sure I didn't look at the news. I was so busy already with listing presentations this morning. Uh, I don't know if the Bank of Canada announced the increase of overnight rate today or not. Um, but that's, uh, they met today, but we are expecting to go as, um, as little as 1% uh, increase for overnight. And banks already thinking to increase the fixed rates and variable rates. So watch out for that. If you in the market to sell, I did a listing presentation, for example, yesterday at uh, Sherwood Park. There was zero listings on the market and entire community. So very low competitions. We are totally short of all detached properties in all price ranges, especially in that low price range. And so if you're thinking of selling home, please contact Robin Moser and myself, Anna Taranova, for, you know, see what it's gonna look like for you to sell the home in the next uh, few months. Spring will be very busy and there's a lot of buyers local buyers, not only out of province buyers, a lot of local buyers, I need homes. So if you are thinking of selling or buying a home, please contact Robin Moser and myself. And we definitely will sit down and make a plan for you how to get this done. So I'm going to take a sip another of this cocktail, I know, too, so refreshing. Smells amazing, oranges. Mm. So what have you seen? Uh, high demand, low supply in a detached and semi-detached product for new build homes. So um, it, they also experience uh, experiencing shortage of new build homes. There's not much land available right now that is releasing. And that was the case for 2021. We're gonna see from 22, 22. Builder prices will go up because again, material, uh, workers, uh, all the labor costs, everything is going up, deliveries is going up, so the builder's pricing will be going up as all the resale homes. Um, and yes, so that's kind of the main topics. We The main topics that the price is up, it's a great time to sell, it's challenging to shop, so therefore it takes a experience and tactic to secure a home for you and your family. Uh, and prices, prices, prices. So our price for January is a rocket shaker because most of the cocktails we make this month, those classic cocktails that are trending for 2022, uh, need, a, need a shaker. So to next week, next week, uh, Wednesday, February 2nd. Oh my God, January is pretty much done. February 2nd, we are doing a draw for this fabulous price that is being provided on behalf and by Remax Realty Professionals. So if you see our videos, please like, share, tag your friend, share the cocktails. If you make the cocktail, share a picture, tag Robin Moser and Anna Terranova. We'd love to see you guys actually learning new cocktails. And if you have, of course, questions about real estate, don't hesitate to message us. We are available on LinkedIn, Facebook, 
Instagram, YouTube, and of course by phone. And um, yes, we are here to help you to go through this challenging market. Thank you for watching. And now I'm gonna reach over and turn off my camera.